Hey guys, today we're gonna do two awesome things. Number one, I'm gonna tell you everything about mounts. And number two, we're gonna put Bless's open world feature to the test. We're gonna see how open is it in reality. My plan, I'm playing Union on this account and um, we're gonna ride a flying mount from Union's capital right here all the way on, in a straight line to Hieron's capital in the north. We're gonna see if we find any invisible barriers, if we're gonna have any problems, so on and so forth. We're gonna do that on a flying mount. Myself, I don't come from games that are big on flying mounts, but uh, flying mounts and mounts in general are really important in Bless. So, Houston, let's take off. Before we leave uh, Spezia, which is Union's capital, I'm gonna give you um, just a quick look so you guys can see. Spezia reminds me of Italy, while uh, Hieracon, which is Hieron's capital, reminds me a little bit of um, Germany, yeah? And a bit, a lot of the Asmodian side in Aeon. So um, this would be the Ilio side, north would be the Asmodian side. In any case, this is how it looks. Flying mounts can be also ground mounts. Uh, currently, I'm on my dragon. Shall we uh, switch the flying mount halfway through? I think we can, yeah? Cool. Don't mind the messages. Google translation for uh, the English patch never works. So where are we going? Let's see if we're on the right path and then we're gonna let our mount just go on a straight line while we talk. I think we're doing good, maybe a little bit to the left, but we're fine. So, mounts. Mounts in Bless are very important. Not extremely important, but very important. Mounts come in various qualities, from white to purple, and various levels, from level 1 to level 45, which is the max. Yeah? Depending on your mount's level and quality, it can give better stats, it can have better stats. A mount stats is the call time, the spawn time, the one that you summon it, the speed and the energy. These are your mount stats. These are ground mounts and there are flying mounts as well. Only two types, no aquatic mounts or anything like that. Um, if you look at this flying mount, it has two speeds, obviously because it has a flying speed as well. Yeah, this is flying mounts here. Cool, so we got that out of the way. The second perk of mounts mm, on top of their stats that can improve while you level and grade them up is um, the special skill. As you can see, this mount doesn't have any, but for example, the demon has a special skill, increases movement speed at night. Skills of mounts are plenty, and I'm not gonna go into detail of each skill in this video, it's gonna take too long, but the camel has uh, another skill. This one is actually an active skill. Uh, if you tap it, it consumes the energy and it increases the camel's movement speed. Right here, you can see that mounts have um, two skills. My camel only has one, it goes as an active right here. Double tap W and there you go, it gets a small speed buff. The demon, as I showed you already, what else can I show you? The giant has another skill, this is again another active. Um, different skills do different things. Skills also have levels themselves. This is this skill translated protection is level four. My camel skill is level four as well. Demon's skill is level two. And the more you uh, level and grade your mount, the more this skill grows as well. Yeah. So leveling it up and grading it up is very important. We're gonna do just that. Let's uh, quickly check if we're actually on the right track. We are still on the right track, boys. So we're, we're gonna try to level and grade up a mount so you guys can um, see how that works. If we take, for example, the, uh, this golem, yeah? He is already level 45, but is a green one, green quality. It doesn't have any stats and the speed is 1103, cast time 180, this is a pretty sweet cast time. Let's grade it up. If we wanna grade the golem up and we're gonna use, for example, another green level 45 mount as a mat for it, then the success rate will be 9% yeah, to get it to blue. We're gonna give it a shot at 9%, we failed. However, if I'm gonna use, for example, a level uh, 30 uh, blue mount, the success rate already goes because it's green and goes to blue, to 54%. Let's do it and it succeeded. So 
right now the golem is in fact blue what has changed you're gonna go back in the video and see or i can actually show you here cast time 180 my blue golem cast time 170 so i'm gonna spawn it faster speed 1103 the blue golem speed 1165 it's actually faster speed is a very important factor 65 energy and the other uh, golem the blue one is 68 so all of the stats uh, went up we didn't get any skills here that can happen as well um, let's try one other thing for example let's try leveling some mount up we're not gonna go to the golem because that one was already max level we're gonna level this particular demon already with the skill and we're gonna use another demon level 30 to level it up as you can see it goes up by two levels because this one is a blue level 30 mat that we're using let's use a blue level 45 let's see what happens the level actually goes to level 34 yeah if we don't use this and we would try to use a golem 45 green let's see what happens it goes to 33 so depending on the level of the mob of the mount that you're trying to use as a material to upgrade or enhance uh, it can go more or fewer yeah it depends on what kind of material you use um, there are purple mounts as well I don't have any ground purple mounts but I have flying purple mounts uh, I told you we're gonna switch the mount in between we actually reached our destination um, straight line no hassle no fuss so let's see if we can land somewhere and I will be able to um, actually let's land in a cool place let's see if we can land in one of those towers yeah what do you think and that's the gist of it guys you can level them, you can grade them, you can you use other mounts as mats to level up your main mount and so on so forth until you get the right skill and until you get the mount that you like. Some mounts come with some skills, some mounts come with others. Some mounts are faster naturally, some mounts are not. For example, my lion, 11.65. This lion is a level 45 um, blue and it also has a passive and it's... Um, it has a nice call time and a nice amount of energy however the one that we worked on the sand golem is 1.70 even though they're both level 45 and blue so you have to think that um, depending on your preference depending on what you do um, these are the things that you have to keep in mind yeah cool let's switch mounts here uh, let's see what do we have we have other mounts let's go with um, let's go with the reindeer shall we this is the reindeer pink reindeer perfect to explore the asmodian side let's do it mounts have um, have uh, unlimited flight time so that's a really cool thing mounts flying mounts especially are the best way to get around because as you saw it took us like what 10 minutes to get from one capital to another and by flying with the wyverns with the default flying system in bless it would actually take us a million years to reach the other side of the map so flying mounts are really awesome also some of you ask is are there going to be any pve servers no but look flying mounts are your pve server because there's nobody in the air that will kill you so let me give you a quick tour and let me actually look myself because this is the first time i see the um here on capital from the sky and the first time i see it in general I cannot wait to play this faction in release. I'm I'm really excited actually to just just to be here. I mean, it just looks fantastic. Um, I'm not a union guy, but coincidence makes it. I'm playing there now. Anyway, this is the Huron Capital, uh, the greatest Modian tower, and these were the mounts basics. I'm gonna get into more detail later on when the game gets closer to release. I will tell you specifics. At the end, very important where you get them. Ground mounts, you get them by taming, using taming scrolls. You can tame almost every mob that you see in the world, including the elites or the bosses. You can tame them and have them. If you um, want mounts, you have to tame mobs that become mounts. How do you know which mob becomes a mount, which becomes a pet, which becomes a servant? You don't. Uh, you just guess, you tame everything and you see if you got lucky. It's a kinder surprise thing. Uh, flying mounts, yeah, the top three, I think, PvP players get flying mounts as rewards. Um, they will be available as, um, for example, big events. In big events like Christmas, uh, they will be available through uh, 
uh, those events for other people as well. Flying mounts also are required from um, killing world bosses, really hard world bosses. So these are a couple of ways to get flying mounts. And that's about it guys. I wish you until my next video lots of love and I will have a video on um, pets and minions as well so you guys can understand they are also as important as mounts. I wish you guys lots of love and uh, see you soon.